Welcome back to another video. My name is Callan and I'll be reacting to every single A24 film in order. Today we're on movie number 7, Under the Skin. Similar to Enemy, I remember being very confused the first time that I watched this movie, so I'm really curious to see if my thoughts have changed after a second viewing. Now before we get started, I'd really appreciate it if you please subscribe to the channel down below and follow along this journey with me. Anyways, with that being said, let's get started with movie number 7. As always, starting with the A24 logo, of course. Pretty eerie soundtrack to start us off. This score is so crazy. It's like someone trying to learn how to pronounce the alphabet. Here we go, under the skin. What a way to open. There better not be another accident in an A24 movie. This is a really cool shot though. So this motorcyclist just pulled over to pull out this lifeless body and is now putting them into a van. All right, so she just took all the clothes from that lifeless body. I wonder if she killed the girl just for the clothes or she was already dead and they just happened to have clothes that fit her. Like that motorcyclist just found that body for her. I think I remember reading that this movie was filmed all like undercover. Like imagine just randomly being in this mall one day and then you end up in this movie. Just all these shots of just random men. How do you even drive in such a large crowd? There's no way. Of course, the directions have to be very confusing. Are you going to meet someone? Alright, thank you. Yeah, lucky, that's good. Good that he was meeting someone. No luck with that guy either. I know, this is a perfect victim. Walking alone, no family here. Big mistake. Where did he go? Hopefully that guy made it home okay. Uh, who's this guy now? What is going on? Where did he end up going? He just kind of... Like the floor kind of just liquefied and he fell through. Yeah, what is she doing? She's gonna pick up more of these men. But then what happens when they go through the floor? I can't remember. So it's obviously the next day. I wonder how many other guys she got the previous night or if it was just that one guy that we saw. We also don't know about that one guy that disappeared in the van. We don't know if he ever made it home. And so this is different. She's no longer in her van. She's just kind of out and about. And this guy's another perfect victim being by himself. Mm -mm. Is that a dog? Is a woman trying to save the dog and now that man's trying to save the woman? And now this guy's trying to save the man? This is crazy. I don't know how many of these people will make it out alive. The current is pretty rough. I don't see the dog anymore. How did they film this? Like, how do you ensure everyone in that current is safe? So it looks like the two guys made it out. I don't know what happened to the woman or the dog. That guy's going back in after that guy saved his life. I guess I would too to save the woman. I really don't think any of them made it out alive except for the one guy. Although he looks like he's dying right here too. Dang. I guess they're all not making it. I don't know, there's a baby. I wonder if the baby's gonna survive. Alright, so this is the motorcyclist from the beginning. Going through that guy's tent that, you know, they just knocked out. Oh no, the baby's still there. Must have been there for hours because it's dark now. Oh, he's gonna leave the baby. Wait, what happened to the swimmer, man? This should be interesting. It's crazy that she just kind of got scooped up in a group. This Darude Sandstorm in the background? Oh no. They're back in this black room, so you already know he's a goner. Oh, there he goes, down in the floor. Looks like he's floating in a pool or just kind of suspended in air. Are the other guys going to be there? Are there somebody else? Whoa, look at it. that guy's skin. What the heck? He like just exploded or something. Like, almost like when you pop a balloon. That's what happened. I'm so confused. I don't know what that was. But that was crazy. <laughs> I 
right now we're just showing shots of women. So completely different from the beginning where we're only seeing shots of men. It's interesting because now, you know, she's got another guy. Don't go into that black room. Wait, is that the motorcycle man? This is different. Hang on. I guess we already know what happened with the other guy by him entering the house, but I don't know what this scene is. Not sure what that was, but he didn't seem too happy. Maybe she's not getting enough guys or the right guys. I don't know. Once again, she's not operating in the van. Uh oh. I love all these random shots of just people. Once again, the visuals in this movie is something else. Right, is she back in the van? On the way. Just get dropped off at the supermarket. Don't go to the black room. Everything will be okay. I have a place about 30 minutes away. Will you come with me there? Mm -hmm. Was that like a pinch me I must be dreaming type of thing? This is what like the rest of the house looks like. There he goes, down into the floor. What is this? It's crazy how all the guys walked through the first portion of the house and were still okay with everything. Like that would be a pretty big red flag for me, I think. That guy made it out. The motorcyclist must not be too happy about this. This score. Oh no, he found him. No wonder if she let him go or he escaped somehow. It doesn't matter, you can't escape the motorcyclist. That's a really nice location. Another 824 film spot I'll need to visit. It's so foggy. Either that chocolate cake is terrible or her alien body cannot handle that type of food. I love this wide shot. So is all of this just to hide from the motorcyclist? She's not going to be able to eat that type of food, is she? Did she end up eating that food? So this alien is basically just admiring every single detail about this body. Does the motorcyclist have friends? I'm about backup to come and find her now. This guy has been way too nice to her. So many great wide shots. I think this might be the first time that she's kissed someone. Because all the previous other times they've all just gone through the floor. I feel like now this alien is becoming more and more curious and kind of aware of human life. About 2,000 acres of forest here, so you shouldn't, you should have uh, plenty of places to go. Still trying to track her down. She does have 2,000 acres of forest to hide in. What a transition. Who's this? Was that the guy from earlier? that told her about the 2,000 acres of forest. Hmm, what does she do? She can't really stay here because of the guy. He probably knows the forest really well and she can't leave because of the motorcyclist. Ah, no. Hmm. Her skin is coming off. It was that black figure underneath her skin. This is so trippy. That is crazy. Is that gasoline? Oh no. Did you just witness that? So he's probably happy, right? 
Unless he wanted to take revenge himself. Pfft, what the heck? <laughs> kind of want to read the book. I want to see if it makes a little more sense than what I just watched. All right, and the A24 logo to close us out. All right, and that was movie number seven, Under the Skin. Still a confusing movie, but definitely not as confusing as the first time that I watched this. This was a very strange movie where this alien figure pretended to be a human and seduced all these men, and then seemingly having some empathy and curiosity for the human race towards the end of the movie. I'm still confused and don't really understand the whole idea of, you know, that black liquid room and what happens to all these men, but I guess because it's sci-fi, it doesn't really have to make sense or I'm not supposed to understand it. I thought it was really interesting how they did shoot this movie and of course I love the score in this. I'm really curious to know if this motorcyclist was an alien figure as well. It seemed like he was a leader of sorts and wanted the female character to seduce and kill all these men. I'm wondering if the reason behind all of this is maybe the motorcyclist knew the dead woman in the beginning. I wonder if it was someone that he loved and they were done wrong by men. So this might be his revenge against all men in general. I'm not entirely too sure, but that's my interpretation of all of this. Anyways, I'm looking at Letterboxd right now and it's sitting at 3.6 stars. I think that's a pretty accurate rating. I did enjoy this movie more than I did Enemy. So I think I'm gonna give this movie 3.5 stars. So with that being said, this is my current ranking of A24 films. At number one, we have The Spectacular Now. Two is Spring Breakers. Three is Ginger and Rosa. Four is Under the Skin. Five is Enemy. Six is The Bling Ring. And seven is Charles Swan. As always, let me know down in the comments what your thoughts were on this movie, what you rate it, and what you rank it, and I'll see you next Thursday for the next video.